And we just formed a bond, man. And his family is like my family. My family is his family. But didn't you say you hated that's, Roddy that's at big. first? Like y'all didn't get along or whatever? My first year, we didn't get along really. Because I was a rook man and they used to torture me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they used to torture me and I was a little hard headed. You know what I mean? You know me. I, I'm scrappy. Yeah, yeah. I yep. see all that. I'm scrappy. <laughs> True story. I never forget this. At my first training camp. So they were like, uh, we're going to we're going to um PF Chains to eat, right? Harry, you paying for it? I said, Well, okay. Well, Harry, we're gonna go right back to this room and sit in this room and watch the TV then. <laughs> I got back. That's when we had Joe Horn. Joe Horn jacked me up. Joe Horn said, don't you ever disrespect this room like that ever again. He said, he told me, he said, when my ass was a Ricky, Andre Rising told me don't get my ass on that airplane unless I brought this damn Popeye's chicken. Harry, I missed the airplane to the game because I had to make sure I got that Popeye's chicken. He said, those guys paid my fine. Uh, from, from the head coach, but it was more so the principle of it. You know what I mean? Your duties as a rookie. So, when, man, when Joe had that conversation with me, it was like, okay, it's all cool beans. Now, that same year, at the end of the year, we're playing the Arizona Cardinals in the first round of the playoffs, and the entire offense goes to Cheesecake Factory. And we're getting towards the point where dinner is almost over. So I see everybody getting up and walking out and acting like they're looking at cheesecake and leaving us. So I said, well, let me go. Me go too. Guess what Roddy told me? Sit your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big bro told me sit your ass down. As soon as he said it, I already knew what it meant. He knew what was up. Behind now, I, I knew what time it was. <laughs> Harry's like Christopher on Sopranos. Hey, no, no, that that's that brought me back to New Jack City. Hey, sit, sit, your, <laughs> sit your ass down, or I'll make some change or something. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> but man, I tell you, man, Roddy, boy, I don't think words can even express how much I love that man. Yeah, I, I, I just don't. Yeah, and and just, just being around both of y'all at, at the same time when we uh, when we had him on that on, on our segment for Fox, I could tell. You know, he was so relaxed. Roddy came in, he was eating a bag of like chips, and he's like, "Harry's like, Rod, you can't eat that. Like, this is a, this is a real interview." And he's like, "Oh, for real?" <laughs> he's like, "Come on, man." It's, Listen, I'll tell you this. Every fight that me and when I was on a team, every altercation I'll say I got into on a football field, Roddy White got fined from the NFL just like I did because he jumping in it. That's love, man. <laughs> That's what you want. That's a he real brother. He used, to, he used to be so mad at me after. He used to be like, man, every time I'm coming in here, I see a FedEx in my <laughs> locker. It's because of you. <laughs> he said, you got to calm down. I said, Rod, I don't take you too kind for of disrespect. You know, I'm hell of my business. Yeah. And our receiver coach used to tell him, stop jumping in Harry's <laughs> shit. You know, he ain't going to lose. He's going to hold his own or you keep jumping in it. <laughs> Rod, that's my brother. Listen, if it's one person I ain't worried about, it's that boy right there, Harry Douglas. Stop jumping in his mess. He's going to finish it. <laughs>